chance now, folks. Let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I was hoping we'd get a chance to see this one again. Thank you, Lonnie, in the truck for showing you. But it's the passing like this that makes the basketball purists happy. This is the beauty of the game right here. Toronto leading by six. On the floor for Detroit, Monroe and Drummond there inside. Jennings and Meeks in the back, and it's Prince in at the small forward. It's DeRozan with the drop. Johnson gets to DeRozan. Power down with both hands. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And for the Pistons, they're shooting 48% for the field. Not bad at all. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That'll be his second foul of the game. Hands was checked in for Toronto. In for your Raptors, Tyler Hansbrough. Jennings for three. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got his third rebound tonight. That's good from Lowry on the assist from Ross. Ross has got three assists now in this one. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Brandon Jennings acquired in a sign and trade by the Pistons last season on a three-year, $24 million contract. Jennings probably expecting more in terms of the deal. Uh, but, uh, look, maybe it was a wake-up call for him. You know, he has not been part of a winning team yet. Generally speaking, the stats alone don't get you max contracts. You, stats and wins are what do that, and that's what's next for Jennings. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And, yes, sir, that one drops. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel, zero points, nada. But he's starting to get into the groove here in the second. And for Jennings, a quick, explosive athlete at the point, you talk about how can he improve. He has the physical attributes to become a lockdown defender, but his focus at that end comes and goes. He's got to be more consistent in his focus at that end. And the other aspect of Jennings, a streaky score to this point in his career, a little loose with his mechanics and shot selection. I think a part of it. I think improving his shooting percentages is an area where last year he improved his long range shooting on wing threes up around 40%, and that allowed him to shoot the best overall three point percentage of his career. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? In the break, guys, I listened in on Stan Van Gundy's huddle. They're getting out shot from the perimeter. He told them, we've got to close out faster on the outside shooters. These threes are killing us. Kevin, can they tighten their D? Thanks a lot, Doris. And so it's Detroit with the ball. The Raptors getting the bucket. Got a piece of it. And now Lowry running the floor all by himself. And the dunk by Valanciunas. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. And DeRozan last season cracking 30% from long range for the first time in his young, promising career. That outside shot has been the missing part of his offensive game because we know he can get to the rack. Now here's Ross. Greg Monroe unable to get his shot to go. Ross kicks to DeRozan. Lowry for three. They get the rebound. Here's Valanciunas. Tries a three. DeRozan's shot is good. DeRozan's got seven points for the quarter. They've been splashing home those three since halftime. Definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Talk about DeRozan attacking inside, Steve, last season among the top five in free throws made. Yeah, 6'7", he's strong, he's athletic. You know, he has the ability to finish in the lane. And I just like the way he's improved as a passer as well, getting his teammates involved. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. 19 points for DeMar DeRozan. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Uh, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. 16 seconds of the shot. And Detroit has possession. 17-point game. 
The drive by Jennings to Rosen with the rebound. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. Detroit's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Drummond dishes to Jennings. Shot from the top of the key. Again, Jennings missing. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. A wide open look here for DeRozan. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Now you gotta like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And Meeks kicks to Jennings. Friends outside. Six to shoot. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blows. Brandon Jennings, you remember, decided to play a year in Italy right out of high school rather than to go to college. He was the first guy to do that. One minute that uh, one year out of high school requirement for the draft. And for Brandon Jennings, he didn't play a whole lot while in Rome, but he stayed busy practicing and developing. Yeah, and it didn't seem to diminish his stock that much, Kevin. You know, you go back to when he was drafted. He was the back in 08. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Here's Drummond. Outside Jennings. There's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. That is good. Boy, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Outside Lowry for the three. Detroit with the rebound. Drummond's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance, an impressive win for Toronto. Great generous ball movement tonight a thing of beauty yeah a remarkable team effort kevin everybody got involved and that paid dividends and it'll go down as their first official win of the new year well you look back at this one and what an amazing performance this has been for kyle lowry and a big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving and finding guys when they would flash open and he gets it to go maybe he just needed a little break at halftime because he's been raining down threes ever since Drummond with a screen on low. Jennings kicks to Meeks. Prince outside. Pistons passing it around. Pass to Jennings. Six to shoot. Jennings can't get that one to fall. Toronto's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Steamsma checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Johnson comes in for Tyler Hansberg. Johnson, he's checked in for Jennings Ross. And it's Haskins in for Kyle Lowry. And a terrific run to really put this ball game away. And now let's see how many more points they can throw up there before the horn sounds. Lucas, the pass to Butler. Back to Lucas. He kicks to Butler. The dish to Tolliver. Nobody near Williams. Hits it from three-point range. Now here's Vasquez. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yes, guys, I'm here with Kyle.